cave tank update. Uh, cave tank has been in a blackout for about a week because of its algae problems. And it looks like the blackout was pretty much effective. Um, we've still got some nasty algae over here, but prior to the blackout, this entire area was almost carpeted in this green algae. So uh, through a little manual cleanup and blackout, we helped remove some of that. Um, the plants have not really been hurt too much. Lights have been off for about a week. Uh, it's still a little messy in here. I'm about to go in and do a little bit of uh, cleanup. There's the Maltese coming up to say hi. Uh, these guys have had uh, just ambient light because I still leave the little bamboo light on for them. Um, overall, the tank still looks good when you zoom out, but there are a couple nasty spots in there. Got a little bit of nastiness right here. Gonna have to do some cleaning and work on, uh, maybe trim up this moss a little bit. Somebody made a mess over in the sand. The tank is still doing pretty well though. I've got some ideas here to change it around for today, so I'm going to pause the video and we'll check back in when I'm done. All right, so we're still cleaning things up here. You can see the water is very cloudy, uh, but I got really excited because, big news, the filter has moved. Um, so I was able to, this tank, uh, the frame is a little odd. It's wider in certain parts, so there's only certain areas of the frame where a hang on back can sit because this is too wide. So I ended up having to actually cut a little notch with a razor blade and it worked out really well. So I'm really glad to, um, to have that filter in that spot now because previously it had been blocking the view here but it was there for a functional reason. Um, and now it can still provide that same functionality with the power head pushing the flow through here and then getting sucked up into there and it creates a much better flow within the tank. So I hope this should help uh, solve a lot of the issues I've been having. Um, so I'm gonna get back to cleaning this up here. Um, I've kind of rescaped some rocks over there to help disperse as the filters flow comes down. I put a little new substrate in there because the roots were showing bare on some of the Sagittarius subgelata here, uh, which is really starting to carpet nice even after a 10 day blackout. So um, I'm going to get back to it here and then uh, we'll revisit it once I'm done. All right, so I'm done cleaning everything now. Uh, you can see the algae has been cleaned up and we've got the filter in the new spot. Cleaned up a lot of the mess in the back there. Trimmed some of the plants. Trimmed up that moss. Moved a log. Just tidied everything up nice and neat. And it's looking a lot better. And I'm really enjoying being able to watch it now that that filter is not uh, blocking the view. So uh, I'm actually going to also put together just kind of a few more clips of this and make another video just uh, relaxing with this tank as well. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, also check out my video about how I made it if you have any questions. Thanks.